for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 15. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Topway and this is Top Notes by Topway. So if today is the first time you see my face, I'm a fragrance reviewer from Lagos, Nigeria and I'll be elated if you subscribe to the channel. Today in the video, I have another Lata for Pride to share with you. But before we get into the video, if this is the first time you're coming across my video and you are not subscribed, please click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. Also, I have a couple of you that are returning viewers, so you're not subscribed, but you come over and over again. So please, why don't you consider subscribing too since you enjoy the content on this video. So if you're really interested to know which Latafa Pride fragrance I have to share with you, without much ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back, guys. So in the video today, like I said, it's a Latafa Pride and it is none other than Ansam Gold. Yes, so it's Ansam Gold. And this fragrance is one that i have had for like um i think i've had it for about two three months now i think two months i've had it since february but i haven't shared it because i was having certain issues which i'll go on to speak to you about so i'm going to quickly look here where i have a laptop where i'm looking at the notes okay so this is what the atomizer looks like okay so it's, it's, a, it's an okay atomizer it sprays well so this has top notes of pear and mandarin that's pear and mandarin it has rose jasmine and candy it has raspberry musk and vanilla the reason why i'm smiling that this is really sweet uplifting scent and off the back i have tried um sampled um perfume de mali's um oriana and this is straight off a dupe i know that um I, there's most people say it's a mix of that and a killian but i haven't tried the killian so i can speak for oriana the only thing is that there's this um almost there's a note I can't put my finger on that doesn't really, I'll say that I don't enjoy. And um, the, the other thing that I don't like about this scent, which I'll tell you later, so stay tuned and I'll tell you. So this starts off very sweet. Wait, I by spraying it on the paper for you. So this has a great atomizer, okay, as you can see. And it's also, it has a high oil concentration. I don't know if you can see, but from here, let me put it on skin so that when it dries, you can see it has a very high oil concentration. The thing is that this fragrance is a great scent, but there's something about it that I don't like. And I will tell you later on in the video, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so at this point, if you're still not subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? Let's get in. So this has notes of pear, mandarin, rose jasmine candy raspberry musk and vanilla and this i have sampled um perfume de mali's oriana before and this smells like it, it smells close from my recognition of it. it it smells almost like let's say 85 to 92 percent like it. it smells pretty close i do hear that there's another um killian in the mix but i haven't tried the killian so i can't speak for that okay so this starts off very creamy but sweet candy sweet very fluffy sweet candy like cotton candy kind of a feel some would say marshmallow and it's it's fruity yet it's candy like and then it's also it has this like um slight effervescence to it almost sparkly nature to it and it's it's also a bit more creamy so it's to my nose, it's a sweet fruity. The pear shines out, it, it comes out. That's the fruit that I smell the most. It's a pear, it's like a candied pear kind of a thing going on, but it has that um, cotton candy, you know, fluffiness to it. And it's creamy and it's, you know, so it's, it's creamy, but it's not heavy. So it just has this creaminess to it, nice creaminess and fluff at the same time to it. It's a very beautiful, girly scent, flirty, you know, that kind of playfulness to it. It's quite a playful scent. I am. Um, I don't. It, it's not a very like okay mature scent. This is a scent that um, if you don't like sweet, playful, you know, candy like scent, you won't like this because this is almost a quite real. It, it has a realistic touch to it. It's really beautiful and it's like an uplifting scent. It's those kind of scents where you want to smell, smell playful, sweet, flirty, girly kind of a thing. 
it's a beautiful scent off the back this is a female scent it's 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 for women i don't think that this even oriana on its own is marketed towards women so this is, is is a female scent it's not unisex in any way the thing that i was going to share that i don't like about this scent is that the longevity on it is not good for me to even get up to four hours longevity on it i need to do like 18 to 25 sprays of this like really over spray so that is one of the major challenges of this scent it doesn't i feel like maybe it is the expectation that we usually have of latafas and maybe generally because to be honest right another thing that i sort of um what the word justified with was that i do have certain designer fragrance that i paid times four even niche where i've paid times 10 of this price the price of and some gold on it and then it doesn't last or it lasts at the same you know longevity of this so i felt like okay for the price i'm paying is not bad but i also think that because we're, we're, we're basing this off the reputation of latafa that latafa does those strong beast mode scents, so we're expecting that from it but this is not another thing is that when i check the meaning of nansam it's from um i don't know if i got the, the let me let me say what i saw it's um Udu, you do or udu or udu is U R D U language, and nansam is a meaning of a word of nas of um, nasam. So ansam, it's a word in plural called nansam, which means breath. So if it means breath, I mean that means it needs to be light and airy. I guess. I mean that's how I'm justifying it. But generally, it's a beautiful scent, very feminine, very flirty. For me, there's a note. I can't say, it, it smells like, I don't know, it feels like sweet kerosene. I don't know, that, there's a note in it. That's the only way I can explain it, that I don't enjoy. That's what makes me struggle with this scent. But generally, it's a great scent for people that like sweet, flirty, fluffy, creamy, girly scents. This is so beautiful, but the longevity on it is not the best the weather has gotten a bit the better the weather was still cool when i was trying it so i don't think that it had anything to do with the weather but it's i don't i don't know if if you've tried it and let me know what the longevity on this is but for me it's not like the great longevity i know that uh, my friend jasmine la jolie sent i always tell you to go and follow her on instagram she was one that got me onto it and it's a really nice scent, but if you don't mind reapplying or decanting it into an atomizer and carrying it, you will love it. It projects for about the first hour, hour and a half, if I'm not pushing, 45 minutes to the first hour, that's when you can really smell it. Almost after that, I don't smell anything again, but I know that I do get whiffs of it for about two to three hours and after that I don't smell anything and this is after I have done about 18 sprays of this fragrance so that is why I'm able to say that I'm not really 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 excited about like the longevity of it you know but generally that's what it does it doesn't really fill a room I feel like the projection um, the siage would be about half an arm's length it, 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 it easily becomes a skin scent it easily easily becomes a skin scent so i find that maybe because of the name maybe the idea that latafa had for this was to make it more into like an intimate scent something that you know it would be and then the bottle is quite beautiful it's a really nice bottle this is what it looks like gold but i just feel like it would it would have you know it would have really really benefited from a great longevity but aside that it's, it's generally a great scent it's generally generally a great scent I, there's a note in it that i struggle with a bit so i don't tend to pick this up I've, I've i've tried i'm going to put it down for some time work around it but this one is not for me it's not it's just there's a note that i struggle with i may come back and say okay it's changed but for now i've given it like four full wears and I still have the notes, you know, bothering me about it. If you have used this fragrance, if you have experienced it, don't forget to tell us in the comment section what your um, experience was with it. But all in all, it's a great scent. But it doesn't, it didn't. It's not. It's not one that I'm that crazed about. So thank you very much for watching this video. And if you're not subscribed at this point, click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you would always be notified when I upload a video. 
thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye bye